The fact is what you eat and drink impacts how you feel, how you look, how you build muscle, if you see muscle definition, how your brain functions, how strong your bones are, how you think, how you move, and so much more impacting your everyday life. Starting from the moment you wake up in the morning, what you put in your body matters and will impact your day in many ways. When it comes to eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle, the goal is not to eat less food. The goal is to eat more of the foods that support you and your body and help it function at its best so you function and feel your best every day. So what are those foods that best support your body so you feel and function at your best? You might have heard terms like nutrient-dense foods, macronutrients, micronutrients, and whole foods. These all describe the types of food that best support your body. And today, I will talk about the building blocks of your body, proteins. Did you know protein derives from the ancient Greek word protos, meaning first, primary, or most important? making it a great place to start. Keep listening to find out why protein is an essential part of your daily nutrition, what kind of proteins to focus on, the best time to eat protein during the day, and how much protein to eat every day. Welcome to the Fitness and Food Made Simple podcast, a podcast to help simplify fitness and nutrition for the busy mom. Do you struggle to exercise and eat healthy consistently? Do you want to feel more comfortable and confident in your clothes, swimsuit, and body? Do you wish there was a way to see and feel results without excessive exercise routines or restrictive diets? If you are looking for a simple and effective approach to fitness and nutrition that removes the overwhelm, delivers sustainable results, and can be implemented into your busy daily life, you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Kareen Repnick, health and fitness coach, stay-at-home working mom of two, and wife to a fire captain. And I know how hard it feels to make health and fitness a priority while working from home, being the default parent, and juggling all the other roles we play as moms. But I want you to know, even when juggling all the things, it is possible to make your health and fitness a priority, to exercise and eat healthy consistently, and get sustainable results. Want to know how to do it? Go grab your water and let's get to it. When it comes to eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle, The goal is not to eat less food. This is what gets most of us into trouble. We think we need to cut out or eliminate entire foods. We go on diets and we struggle to actually follow through with any of these long term. And then we go right back to how we were eating before and our body is no better off. And some would even say our body is even worse off because of all the yo-yoing and inconsistency. If you want to feel great every day, have more energy, lose weight, see more muscle definition, or build strength, your nutrition goal is not about eating less. It is about eating more of the foods that support you and your body and will help it function at its best so you function and feel your best every day. So what are those foods that best support your body so you feel and function at your best? You might have heard terms like nutrient-dense foods, macronutrients, micronutrients, and whole foods. These all describe the types of food that best support your body. And today... I will talk about the building blocks of your body, proteins. Because proteins are your building blocks for your body, they are essential to your health and vitality. Simply put, you wouldn't exist without protein. Protein plays a lead role in nearly every function and cell of your body. Since it's part of every cell in your body, it is used to help build muscle, organs, and other tissues It also is important for brain health and to help make enzymes, hormones, and other necessary chemicals in your body. And we need protein to build and maintain lean muscles and bones. While we can make some protein, we have to get most protein from the food we eat. And since proteins are always being broken down and rebuilt, we need to eat enough protein throughout the day to stay healthy and to maintain the protein balance necessary for our body to function properly and thrive. This is why it is so important to eat enough protein throughout the day and at every meal, starting with breakfast. Did you know that if your body needs more protein than what you are eating, your body will start taking it from elsewhere? 
including your muscle tissue, bone and connective tissues, hormones, and other chemicals your body needs. And if this deficit goes too long, vital functions in your body will start shutting down. This is why eating enough lean protein throughout the day and at every meal is vital for your health and wellness. If you are working out with the hope to get and see more muscle on your body, eating enough protein throughout the day is a key player in getting and seeing these results. Our muscles need lean protein to become bigger and stronger. And if snacking between meals or late night snacking when you're hungry is an issue for you, eating enough lean protein throughout the day will help you feel fuller for longer periods of time and will help you feel more satisfied between meals, making you less hungry between meals and less likely to snack throughout the day because you feel hungry. Now, what do I mean when I say lean protein? I am referring to nutrient-dense protein sources. While almost all foods contain some protein, there are certain protein-dense foods you want to focus on for your main sources of protein at meals. This includes beef, pork, chicken, turkey, seafood, eggs. It can also include dairy products such as cottage cheese and Greek yogurt. And if you eat mostly plant-based, here are some other protein options. Lentils, beans, quinoa, hemp seeds, chia seeds, nut butters, tofu, and edamame. These are all great sources of protein that you're going to want to include in your meals throughout the day. And snacks if you need a healthy snack. Now, how much protein should you eat? Here are some guidelines. If you are talking about serving sizes, you can use your hand as a visual guide. The palm of your hand is equal to one serving of protein. And if you're shopping for a packaged food item that isn't on the list I said previously, a good guideline is to look for something that has 10 to 25 grams of protein per serving. This is a good guide when looking at yogurts or other frozen packaged foods or anything else that you might be looking at as a protein source, you definitely want to try to get 10 plus grams. And remember, this is a guideline. So if you are looking at cheese as an option, and let's say it only has eight grams of protein, if that's your option or your best option, don't put it down just because it's not 10 grams. These are guidelines just to help make this easier. If you are new to eating protein-dense foods at every meal, I encourage you to aim for at least one serving at every meal to start. You can always increase your intake later as needed. I also encourage you to have some go-to protein sources in the house at all times so you can quickly grab them when needed. Think frozen chicken, yogurt, beans, eggs, tuna, and protein powder. Let's talk about protein powder. Where does this fit in? If you have a hard time eating enough protein throughout the day with whole foods, or if you just enjoy having a smoothie as a meal, then protein powder is a great option. Whenever possible, it's a good idea to get your nutrition from whole foods because whole foods contain more of the nutrients your body needs, like fiber, vitamins, minerals, plant compounds, and more, and your body is naturally meant to process the whole foods. Plus, whole foods can help keep you feeling fuller longer. Have you ever noticed how sometimes when you drink a smoothie for lunch, you're hungry in like 30 minutes to an hour later? That could be the reason why. Now, I do understand that it can be challenging to eat enough protein every day, especially when you're feeling short on time, haven't run to the grocery store recently, want to eat protein after your workout to build more muscle, or just struggle with what to eat at certain meals like breakfast or lunch, and maybe you just want to enjoy an easy go-to smoothie. I get it. This is when protein powder is a great option. Now, let's talk about the holidays a little bit. They're here. Thanksgiving is Thursday. I want to talk about the benefits of starting your day off with protein to help you better manage your hunger, your snacking, your blood sugar levels, and to help you make healthier eating choices throughout the day. Because I know eating healthy is one of the biggest struggles for many people during the holiday season. Eating a protein-packed breakfast is one of the best ways to set yourself up for a successful and healthier day. 
When you eat enough protein at breakfast, it affects your body all day long. People who eat a healthy protein-packed breakfast tend to feel fuller and more satisfied, have a smaller appetite throughout the day, and have an easier time making healthier food choices throughout the day, and often sleep better. So on the days you have a holiday party, a get-together, an event or activity where you're worried about controlling yourself around the foods and drinks that will be there, and you want to set yourself up for success, make sure you start your day with a protein-packed breakfast, enjoy protein at lunch, and don't forget to drink plenty of water throughout the day leading up to the event. This way you go into the activity feeling your best, you'll have more control over your hunger and cravings, and you can let yourself fully enjoy the foods and festivities without any guilt. I want you to remember that the goal of my podcast and coaching is to show you how to simplify fitness and nutrition so you can live a healthy and active lifestyle year round, eat healthier every day, and still enjoy your favorite foods and treats, including during the holidays. You do not have to sacrifice your favorites for your health, and you don't have to deprive yourself to make healthy choices. Living healthy doesn't have to be and should not be something that feels like torture. But when you simplify fitness and nutrition and create a healthy and active body and lifestyle that you love and can realistically sustain long term, you no longer have to keep trying to eat healthy or exercise consistently. You just do it. Because once it becomes your lifestyle, you don't have to think about it as much. It becomes easier. It becomes a habit and a routine. It doesn't feel so much like a struggle or something that you have to work really hard at all the time. And this frees up your time and your energy to focus on all the other areas of your life. And bonus, you'll feel better while doing it. If this is what you want, if you want to create a healthy and active body and lifestyle that you don't have to try really hard for, and you want to feel good in your body every day, I encourage you to sign up for my Simplify Nutrition for Life and Simplify Fitness for Life coaching programs, and let me show you how. Right now, if you sign up for both programs, you will save $96, you get access to the programs and coaching for one year, and you will get the lowest price they will ever be priced at because prices are going up in 2024. If you're interested, the links to sign up for my programs are in the show and episode notes. And when you go through the checkout process for one of the programs, it'll give you the option to bundle and save by adding the other program if you're interested in doing both. Let me help you simplify your fitness and nutrition in 2024 so you know how to feel your best every day and show up consistently for your health and fitness long term. Now, go save your spot today because we kick off in January and these programs will be life-changing. I promise. Oh, and if you want protein-packed breakfast recipe ideas, you can download my free protein-packed breakfast recipe guide by clicking on the link in the episode notes. Inside, you'll find a variety of delicious protein-packed breakfast recipes to choose from and try. All right, let me recap real quick. What you eat and drink impacts how you feel, how you look, how you build muscle, If you see muscle definition, how your brain functions, how strong your bones are, how you think, how you move, and so much more impacting your everyday life. And protein is the building block of your body. It is essential for you to be healthy and to live a healthy lifestyle. So make sure you are eating lean protein sources at every meal. And if needed, if you're still hungry in between meals, make sure your snacks also include some great protein sources. And don't forget, go download my free protein packed breakfast recipes to help start your days off strong. Go sign up for my fitness and nutrition program to make 2024 the year you take control of your health and fitness. And have an amazing Thanksgiving week. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, learned something new, or feel encouraged to take action on your fitness and nutrition journey, 
Please subscribe to the show to receive my weekly episodes and leave a five-star review so other moms can find and benefit from my show too. And if you know other moms or women who might enjoy this specific episode, please share it with them so more women can learn to simplify fitness and nutrition for sustainable results while juggling all the things. Now, if you are ready to make your fitness and nutrition a priority and want my coaching support so you know exactly what to do and how to get sustainable results, you can visit my website at leavenworthhealth.com or click on the links in the episode or show description for free resources, access to my Facebook group, and to learn more about and sign up for my fitness and nutrition coaching programs. Thanks again and enjoy your day.